It's going to be a bit of a vlog, if you will. So, somehow, yesterday when I came home, my dad had gotten a flat tire on the truck. But he's backed it up all the way to this tree. Behind the tree is a desk. So, the issue is you can't exactly have a car with a flat tire. You can't have a desk outside. It violates some city ordinances. So, i got to get this reinflated, or get a new tire on it, and get that desk inside. The issue is... To get to the spare tire, it's all the way back here, right? You gotta crank a little thing underneath the tailgate. Or, you know, I just don't want to damage the wheel by doing just driving it forward on the rim. So what I'm going to try and do is use that little cobalt thing, tire inflator, to inflate that long enough to drive it forward, and then I'm going to jack the whole thing up and do what you do. Okay, so I got it up to 20 PSI, and you can see the leak right here. It's actually coming out pretty quick, so I'm going to detach that, move it forward, get the spare tire on and, you know, go to discount tire, your tire place. But for some reason I can't figure out how to get the spare tire off the truck. So right now I have this uh, truck being supported by both the scissor jack and the jack stand. I put this wheel in my car, take my car to discount tire, come back with a new wheel, put it on and be done with it. My car. Discount tire, here I come. Probably the drive off the curb though. Eight days since I last uh, recorded the last section of this video. And in those eight days, I've been waiting for this uh, General Grabber X3 to arrive at Discount Tire. Apparently, this tire came from the East Coast and took eight days to get to Vegas. So, but here it is right there. Nice, beefy looking American made tire. And hopefully it'll last longer than these Falcons, or the Falcon it replaced. I also have the new tire for the Chevy Volt on the new rim. There's the old rim right there. General Grabber X3 on the truck. And I must say, these sidewalls are beefy as hell. Look, look at that. My finger just fits right good low of the tread and everything. It's my thumb right there. It's a pretty decent sized tread. I like it a lot. And, uh, you know. My since this truck is my sister's, my dad told me to make sure that I test drive it before I give it back to her. It rained yesterday, and uh, me and my friends took it for a bit of a test drive. You know, it was just nothing too hard, but I can definitely say the rim will not be falling off this truck anytime soon. Also, that's where she usually has her little real estate thing. I'm also probably going to swap these Rocky Mountains over to the General Grabber. And to be honest, this tire is pretty low on tread right here. Right there. This one's not too bad. When compared, this is what this should look like. The original Rocky Mountain when they first start off. No, this one's not too bad either. It's a, definitely the worst one is the driver's, uh, uh, the passenger side, front. Okay, that's about it, guys. If you want to see any more videos like this, well, they'll probably be better produced next time. You know, less of a vlog style format, more like a how-to type thing. It took eight goddamn days to get the tire in from some East Coast middle of nowhere state to my West Coast middle of nowhere state. But, yeah, more videos coming. Eight, eight days, it sucked, but I understand it happens, you know. FedEx can only move so fast. So hit subscribe, hit like, uh, click on some other videos, and have a good one, guys. Do whatever you do on the internet.